So it is an uh, seems like this is an object with uh, Q value pairs. Uh, the value that we pass to the uh, inputs of this function will be getting appended to the values of this uh, objects. But but how if I if I just create an array and if I pass one two three then what how the how how it will print then uh, argument? Uh, you mean like this? Hmm hmm. So now what mm -hmm. it will print? No idea. Let me check. This is taking it as a single, uh, single input. And why? Okay. So, mm -hmm. Uma. So we are passing only mm -hmm. single array, correct? So we don't have yes. multiple arrays. So that's why it is creating zeroth index and with a value. So this is what I was asking you. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, okay. So uh, we have created a normal function. If I change it to the arrow function, then how can I pass this value? Uh, arrow functions do not have the arguments keyword. So okay. we have to definitely pass the uh, parameters. Uh, we have to def uh, declare the parameters in the... No, no, I don't. Uh, but what value means what? How can you get it? If I want to get only three or one or two. Uh, so as far as I know, right, these arrow functions do not have arguments keyword. But uh, yeah. if you want to do not declare the parameters in the function in arrow functions and pass it, um, then... I don't think that is possible. Okay. See, I want to get one and two, three separate, separate. Okay. So how can okay. I get it? In a regular function or the arrow function? Arrow function, arrow function. Okay. I should, I shouldn't use the, declare the inputs here. Okay. Then how you will separate one and two, three? Means one would be a first index and two, three would be another index. So how you will do that? Mm, correct. So if it is like, I, I, if I, I'm sure that this parameter, uh, this function is going to take three parameters, then... Um, and why? Do you know rest parameters? Yeah. Why we use it? Uh, to pass uh, some array of values to some function. Okay, so only array? Uh, we can pass object also. And uh, what about individual values, one, two, three? Yeah, we can pass that too. So you should not create n1, n2, n3. You should use the okay. rest operator then. Okay. Okay, read about it because it's a core concept of the JavaScript. Okay, sure. Okay, and what is destructuring? Uh, destructuring is a way to uh, assign values from an object or an array uh, without individually declaring object or arrays. each one. Yeah, we can do for both the objects and array. I think. Correct. Okay. So generally, if you have some object like this with name, Uma, in place, something like India. If you want to assign a uh, variable to this, generally we can do object dot name mm -hmm. and also we can assign separately like this. Instead of that, uh, if we are using object destructuring, we can uh, simply declare uh, name comma this mm -hmm. to object. It is printing. What it is printing? It's printing undefined. Um, yeah, now it's printed. So the way I declared was wrong earlier. And why it was not working means, did you get why it is not so, working? Yeah, yeah, while destructuring, we have to uh, give the, basically whatever object we have here towards the left side, right? We are uh, mentioning that that's each fine. element of that object that's fine. has to be but, assigned to the uh, that's fine. individual individual but, variables of the right side. Okay. But oh, I'm asking uh, that cur curly braces before name and place. Mm -hmm. If I do array, then it will work if I change it to array. Yeah, earlier I tried the same thing, so but mm -hmm. it did not work. Yep, so that is why I'm asking why it is not working. Not sure. <laughs> okay, read about this, huh? <clears throat> okay. Okay, because uh, you are destructuring from object to array now, so that's why. Okay. 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 So, have you seen the tempor template literal tags? Template literal. Literal tag. Is it HTML tag? It's part of JavaScript. No, I have not. Okay. Okay. Read about that. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how can I pass template the default value? Level. What? Is it template return? Yes. Okay. I will make a note of it. Okay. So, how can I pass a default value to the parameter? We can pass it while calling the function. I think. Earlier, we have some function, right? Uh, while declaring the function, we can give some value to that. This is one way that I am aware. Mm hmm and if I pass some value, then? I think that gets overrated with the value that we pass. Mm. If you do not pass anything, the default value that gets printed. Okay. 
ओके सो हाउ कैन आई क्रिएट अ ग्लोबल वेरिएबल इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट ग्लोबल वेरिएबल ओके इफ वी राइट वेरिएबल्स ऑन टॉप ऑफ फंक्शंस दैट बिकम्स अ ग्लोबल वेरिएबल लाइक सिंपली डिक्लेयरिंग वेयर सम नेम ऑफ द वेरिएबल बिकम्स ग्लोबल ओके आउट ऑफ द स्कोप ऑफ एनी फंक्शन और यू मीन टू से नो वेयर व्हाट टाइप ऑफ स्कोप वेयर हैज ग्लोबल स्कोप uh var has actually function scope but uh, since this is not uh, declared in any function no so it i am asking then what is global how can i create a global variable then you said that it is a function scope okay mm, yeah correct but okay so to uh, to answering that we cannot bypass this okay it should be a function scope only var so i i want to create a global variable how can i create mm, not sure if there is just a global keyword or something maybe global space that okay read about it okay mm -hmm. okay okay i think we'll move to uh, we have only a thing remaining 10 minutes not sure how much time okay so we'll move to uh, angular now mm -hmm. okay we'll take some question from the angular so okay so we do have the life cycle hooks correct yeah correct okay if i am using the view child then which life cycle hook i have to use means in which life cycle hook i should be using something if i am doing in the dom okay if you change something in the child component and you are using view child to access the child component hmm so in that case we can use ng after view in it okay uh, because and that is the one that gets in, uh, triggered once uh, component and its child component is rendered complete i mean initialized completely okay anything else we can also is ng after view checked uh, ng after view not ng after view checked mm. okay okay so uh, have you worked on the angular material yeah i used angular material table material table only table uh, yeah material table mat paginator dialog have you created any dialog with the material oh uh, yeah i used mat dialog as well okay so if i want to open a dialog so how can i open it means what what thing i have to i have to do for open a dialog with a angular material okay from material we have to import the mat, uh, mat dialog uh, component uh, so we have to uh, give a reference for that uh, mat dialog and using the reference uh, we can use dot open method and mm -hmm. pass the component that we want to render as a pop up or dialog okay and uh, once i save or cancel how can i get the data again uh, there is one more um, from the mat uh, dialog that is mat dialog reference so inside the component that is going to be rendered as a dialog pop up uh, we have to declare the mat reference variable mm -hmm. and while closing we have to use this mat reference variable and uh, pass the values that we want to send the data okay okay and if i want to pass some data to the pop up then how can i pass so generally the function is like dot open um, the name of the component uh, we mm -hmm. can pass parameters here so in this we can use parameters like height width then there is one more thing called uh, we can um, pass data also like this mm -hmm. correct so, so for yeah. passing the data here we have to declare this data variable inside the component that is going to be rendered as a dialog pop up correct okay so uh, data i think uh, mat dialog data i think yep that is fine yep correct mat data is there okay so uh, okay so as per your experience so how you differentiate that uh, this component should be the base component and this should be the read only component means uh, what is the smart component and how how you decide this component should be a smart component and this component should be a dumb component first of all what is the difference between smart and dumb components okay uh... dumb components are like uh, that have placeholders but uh, that get receives data from the its parent component or siblings component so every time something uh, change happens so that gets rendered uh, into this uh, dumb this component can happen with the smart component as well correct same thing should can happen with the smart component as well means why i'm asking so how you decide that this should be only a dumb component means if you are changing something in the parent child or something so then it should be reflect correct so to make it the dom synchronize with the content okay but the question is that how you will say that this should be a dumb component now 
any definition so, so why how can we decide it we are frequently changing something from the uh, parent component then basically all child components are drum components as per my understanding so any change from the external uh, component that <laughs> read about it okay yep okay so uh, okay so what is the use of ng on changes life cycle loop ng on changes mm -hmm. um, so whenever there is some change happening in the input data bound properties so ng on changes is going to respond to that events response means what i mean uh, this ng on changes method gets uh, triggered every time whenever the input data bound properties uh, gets updated or changed okay and uh, what is the best example for this example have you worked on the reactive forms yeah i worked okay so on change of something i want to get the data from the form or something so how can i do this on change of the form hmm see you have first name last name correct two values mm. okay and you are doing mm -hmm. something in the first name so okay okay suppose you have one password field as well okay now once you add your first name last name okay and you are adding now password okay that password should be compare mm -hmm. correct with a confirmed password so on change of that input or the next input so how you will trigger that means how you will compare that validator so you will compare the both the value that's fine but how you will trigger that first of all okay uh, if it is an input we can use uh, on key up or yeah on key up function and we can declare a function for on key up and use uh, the value that that got updated Do you know form value changes? Uh, form value changes, yeah. Why we use it? Whenever some value changes into the form. Okay, so that key up and key down is required for this. Ah, uh, not required. Maybe, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Form value changes. Okay. Yeah. So that was the thing with it. Okay. So, uh, which version you are working right now with Angular? We are using nine. 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 Yes. Okay. I think your resume. I have seen you have not added any version. Okay. So, uh, okay. So one thing, Uma. So right now you are searching for a job, correct? Right now, thirteen is okay. So uh, yeah, you can say that the, this interview is finished. So I am just giving you the background. What would be the required from your ex uh, as per your experience? Okay. So as per the your experience as a lead, you are saying. So you should be controlling the all the architecture of the project as well, how the data is going and also okay. So that one thing you can check and the, how you decide the component architecture. Okay. So what are the shell component? What are the shared component? What is the core component? How you will architect them? How you will pass the shared components? How you will keep the dependencies of the shared components? now angular 16 15 comes with a standalone components okay so if you are going for interview so i would recommend you to read about standalone component then uh, what is the new things comes with the angular 17 okay so you are working 9 means almost 6 year back okay so 5 or 6 years back i think they have released 9 okay so read about this okay so it will help you because um, as per my experience uh, standalone component are the base angular Best practice for the Angular right now. So I'm not sure. Do you know anything about it? But uh, I think you should re read about it. So we don't have to use app dot module dot ts file anywhere in the code now. Okay, and if you are not, okay. if you don't know about it, so I would recommend you to read about that more about it because uh, this is the one thing right now in the right now is a is a as a best practice for the Angular code. Okay, and apart from that, uh, they have released the Angular signals. Okay, so read about that. What is the defer loading? What is the what is the eager uh, eager loading is was there already? Okay, so what is defer loading? So, okay, so we can uh, the way we you are saying about the async await. So same thing we can achieve with the defer loading in the Angular in the DOM. Okay, so you can lazily load your DOM as well. Instead, earlier we are loading the, our components, correct? eager loading okay. lazy loading modules we load correct so right now we have the option to lazily load the html as well okay so read about that then ng4 syntax get changed then ng if get changed so too many things get changed uma so i would recommend you to read about those okay ng4 and syntax yeah okay i'm making a note of it okay and uh, maybe this interview will uh, go in a minute okay so maybe if you want to join then we can join in 10 minutes again as well if you have any questions 
the yeah yeah i have some questions okay so, so uh, let uh, will it will this game get expired yeah so this no no same link you can join after 10 minutes exactly 10 minutes once it get complete once you join it will show you to wait for 10 minutes so you can rejoin then at that time so we can discuss more about it so i did some changes in the top mat as well so those i wanted to talk with you okay okay so rejoin 